Now you can call me woke if you want to. I am wide awake and will not rest until every single one of my students is protected, supported, and educated in the same manner. I'm disappointed most of all in the reckless accusations that myself and my colleagues are groomers or indoctrinators. The insinuation that we are trying to harm children in our own classrooms with the wrong books or the wrong material. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I am a PTA member. I'm a former teacher of the year. How dare you insinuate that anything improper is happening in my classroom or the classrooms of the many fabulous colleagues that I have the privilege of working with day to day on the ground here in Escambia County Public Schools. My name is Carol Cleaver and my job in this community is to be a middle school science teacher. And I wanted to come here today to talk about what exactly my job is because as we've just seen, there seems to be a lot of confusion around here lately about what it is that teachers are doing in the classroom. So I wanted to talk about that for a minute. When students come into my classroom, I teach them about the difference between weather and climate, the factors that affect gravity, and how to dissect a frog. I'm proud to have been selected for many years now to help write the science curriculum for this district and mentor new teachers. I will not entertain stories about a fight at lunchtime or a teacher that has upset them because that is not necessary to my two prime objectives, which are number one, to raise good citizens, number two, to teach science. As a grown-up, I'm so disappointed to hear the lies and misinformation and downright unkindness that have marked almost every single school board meeting this year. I appreciate that our board must uh, respect the rights of citizens to speak at public forum, but I'm disappointed that so many members of the public are so quick to attack any opinion that is not in lockstep with their own. I want to challenge my school board here and now. I do not want you to uphold conservative values, and I don't want you to uphold liberal values. I want you to do what is best for kids, number one, with every single decision that you make. That's the value that I want in my classroom. We have a duty, and we all swore an oath. We are honor bound to do what is best for students, and what is best is to teach them the truth about science. What is best is to encourage them to love reading by giving them access to books that they want to read and books that have stories that represent their families and their lived experiences and our shared history. I don't want to teach in a whites only classroom. I don't want to teach in a classroom where some families are not worth the same protection that other families are. I want to teach science. I want to raise good citizens. I want to do that in a classroom where everybody feels safe and encouraged and confident enough to take on new academic challenges. I need my students to feel supported so that they will be confident enough to do the tough things like learn what is an independent variable, what is a dependent variable, and then graph that on a chart. That's tough concepts, and they're not going to be able to do that if they don't feel encouraged and supported by their teacher. So all of my students, all of them need to have the message that I am supporting them. I'm asking that this board chooses a leader that is just as wide awake as I am, because we should not be sleeping on the students of Escambia County. Thank you.